What's new? What's old is new again, I should say. It's a different approach to street paving in Colorado Springs for the ninth year of the 2C expanded street paving program funded by a voter approved sales tax increase. Today at the intersection of Austin Bluffs and Research Parkways, the city provided a demonstration on using recycled asphalt in the paving process. CARDIO 13 Scott Harrison, the Road Warrior, shows us. City officials say that sometime in the recent past, maybe 15 to 20 years ago, no one's quite sure, Colorado Springs did use recycled asphalt in its street repaving process. But for some reason, again, no one knows for sure, it stopped. Today, however, it came back. Normally, crews mill or scrape off the old asphalt and replace it with a fresh layer. But a Kansas contractor is doing what's called a hot in place method, milling three inches of the old pavement, recycling half of it on site at a temperature of 500 degrees and reapplying it before replacing the other half with fresh asphalt, which is also mixed with old asphalt. The recycled asphalt is on the left. On the right is the newer material. Crews are trying it out on the north end of Austin Bluffs Parkway after seeing a similar demonstration in Metro Denver last year. Uh, they invited us up. We went up and, and watched the process uh, go, and uh, we, thought it was, uh, we thought it was a really good process and, and put down a really good product. Uh, you know, this is going to be a, a 10 to 15 year product. This process can only be used on long stretches of major streets because of the long train of equipment required. The goal is to try new methods to save time, resources, and money. But it's too soon to know what the savings might be. What, what I would offer the citizens is, 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 is do give the city due credit, be patient. The city is doing all they can. They're using the most innovative techniques they can, uh, and they'll get to your street eventually. One of those innovations is using Kevlar, the same material in bulletproof vests, to extend the life of a paving job. Here on Tijuana Street near Citadel Mall, another new process was tried earlier this summer. It's called a slurry seal, which is an upgrade over the chip seal in which tar is spread out and then small fine rocks are put on top of it to extend the life of pavement. The slurry seal is an upgrade because it's quieter because of less tire noise and that makes it great for neighborhoods. In Colorado Springs, I'm the Road Warrior, Scott Harrison for KRDO 13. Who knew there was a slurry seal? I did not. Learning something from Scott Harrison each and every morning, and he really is looking out for you and your commute, which is so important in our growing city. Be sure and send us your traffic and road news tips. We always look into them. You can email us, roadwarrior at krdo.com.